Before we get into the adapt weapon for this week, keep in mind that the Inquisitor's Slug Shotgun and the Whistler's Wim Bow are available as reputation rewards this week too, at levels 10 and 16 respectively. The adapt weapon dropping this week from Charles is the Whistler's Wim. This bow is a part of the lightweight archetype and sits in the kinetic slot. You only have until the weekly resale on Tuesday to farm it, so get going. The Whistler's Wim is a very unique bow. It is the first bow to ever come with the perk kill clip, which can actually one shot to the head with a damage buff stacked on top, like Radiant. However, this is pretty niche and not too applicable. Lightweight bows are also pretty weak compared to their precision counterparts as they only deal 86 body shot damage, which doesn't allow for a two hit kill. Options such as Biting Wins or Accrued Redemption are much preferred in the kinetic slot. However, despite saying this, Rapid Hit and Kill Clip is a very unique role and might be worth farming if you are a bow aficionado. Long story short, should you farm this weapon? Unless you're a true bow lover or simply that are lacking on some other kinetic bows, I would say you can probably skip the Whistler's win for this week. It's a solid B tier across the full game, meaning it's definitely viable, but it shouldn't be your first choice. In terms of PvP roles, you're going to want low draw time and high accuracy, meaning that the best all-round option is Polymer String. For your arrows, you're going to want to opt for straight fletching for that increased accuracy without losing any other stats. For perks, in slot 1 you're looking for moving target, and in slot 2 you're going to want opening shot. There is that unique role of rapid hit and kill clip, however it is a bit too niche to warrant any competitive use. Before we get into the best PvE roles, did you know that we have the entire Trials of Osiris weapon rotation and tier list on blueberries.gg? Check out the link in the description. For PvE, you're going to once again want low draw time and high accuracy, so Polymer String and Straight Fletching are your go-tos. In the first slot, Rapid Hit is the way to go, and in the second slot you can opt for a number of different perks. Kill Clip is a solid option, as well as Adrenaline Junkie, or you can double down on draw speed with one of Archer's Tempo or Successful Warm-Up. The choice is yours. Make sure to check out this video on screen if you want a chance to farm another top-notch weapon before it's too late. This week's Nightfall weapon is pretty damn good, and you won't want to miss it. By the way, the link to that video is down in the description.